Hello there guys and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. Many of you have requested that I do a full tutorial showing how to install X-Life Free Edition for X-Plane 11. In this video I'm going to show you exactly how to install X-Life for uh, X-Plane 11 and I'm also going to show you how to install the replacement um, aircraft models for X-Life as well as the necessary configuration uh, so that um, X-Life would follow the latest nav database uh, with the SIDS and STARS. So first thing first, let's take a look at the files that we need to download to install X-Life. The first thing that we need to do is we need to download X-Life. X-Life Free Edition is available through the jardesign.org website and as it is always the case, I will provide you with the link uh, to the jar design website in the description section of the video click on download for free and that will download xlife to your machine the next thing that we need to download is the bluebell uh, replacement aircraft models for xlife now the links to the downloads are actually included in the installations instructions of xlife but I, what i've done is i've extracted those from the text file and for easy reference, I'm just going to provide you with these links in the description section of the video. All right, so here's what we need to do next. The Bluebell models will say select all, and we're going to extract them to this folder. And what you'll end up with is a folder called Bluebell XL and a couple of PAC uh, folders, PAC A and PAC B. And what you want to do is you want to select pack A and B and simply drum, drop them in the Bluebell Excel uh, folder. So this is what your Bluebell Excel folder should look like. Uh, packs A, B, G, J, and P. So now what we need to do is we need to cut this folder and go to the root installation of X-Plane 11 and go to custom data and paste it there. Once file copying is over, you'll end up with the Bluebell Excel folder in your custom data folder. All right, let's go back now and install the XLife plugin. So what we need to do to install XLife, let's go ahead and extract the contents of XLife here. And once that's done, you'll end up with an open me and read folder. Just go ahead and cut explain and head over to your um, explain 11 root folder resources plugins and paste it in there I already have it here so I'm not gonna paste it again now the installation is complete now if you want your X life traffic the aircraft traffic to follow the nav the latest nav database what you need to do is you need to update your nav database to the latest version and what it uses, it uses the GNS 430. Now, a lot of you have had issues with this in the past. So let me just explain um, one thing to you here so that you don't end up with the same problem. When you install Xplain 11, when you install a fresh uh, copy of Xplain 11, your custom data folder will not contain the GNS 430 folder, okay? So the only thing you need to do is you need to create this folder and then point your um, FMS data manager or Navigraph from uh, Aerosoft to update this folder. And by the way, this is the same thing you do for your 777 or the 757 or the 767 by Flight Factor. So once you do that, just go to the FMS manager and let me show you that. So we go to the, uh, I use Navigraph. So we'll go to Navigraph. And as you can see here, this is the Xplane GNS430. And you just, the only thing you need to do is go to add on mappings and then select here uh, the folder. And as you can see, I've pointed this to custom data GNS430. And once you say update, it will automatically um, put the latest um, nav database in that folder. And that folder will be accessed by Xlife. Now that the installation is complete, let's go ahead and fire up X-Life in X-Plane 11. 
The way we do this, you go to plugins, xLife, and then you go to turn on uh, traffic, or this is the turn on off button for the traffic. Before we do so, let's take a look at the settings. Now, the xLife settings uh, are quite simple. Uh, let me bring it here. It doesn't kind of looks a bit weird, but um, the AI traffic density is how much how much AI traffic do you want around the airport? Now, be careful with this. I found 50 to be reasonable and does not really um, cause a you know a tremendous uh, hit on FPS. Uh, but when I put it at 100%, then I I do notice some drop in FPS, and this is. You know the last thing you want to do uh, on a um, you know on a, on a mid or low end machine. So 50, I find it to be reasonable, and the airport gates stands busy. I have that set at about 35. Uh, runway operation interval in minutes, I've had that at uh, just under two minutes, and the sound volume I've reduced to 50 because at 100%. The aircraft around you uh, will be very loud, and you kind of you won't be able to hear your own aircraft. So this is a reasonable settings to to leave it at. Um, now what we need to do now is we need to turn on the traffic, and we'll go and say traffic on off. It says loading, please wait. All right. So it says turn on real weather option or click start again to ignore this. Now, for some reason, um, the XLife plugin does not recognize XEnviro as real-time weather plugin. So what we're going to do is we're going to say just turn it on again. And now it's saying um, loading, please wait. So we now just need to wait a little while until all the aircraft are, uh, as you can see now, the aircraft started loading. And one problem with this airport is it, it already has a lot of static aircraft. And so if the position of the aircraft in XLife matches one of these, then it will simply put the aircraft on top of it. A nice feature in XLife is the ability to be able to see the departing and arriving aircraft into the airport. And the way you do this is you go to XLife and you just simply say show departure information. And it looks like there is a departing, let's see, your takeoff runway. 10 left looks like and it's taxing from gate 7 so already there is some movement um, and let's go ahead and take a look also at the arrival information it says no arrival info now maybe sometime later okay so we can go ahead and oh there we go so there is an aircraft taxiing out of the uh, out of the gate now now, for some reason, I think this is a bug in XLife. Um, I noticed that the beacon and the strobes are not operational. I can see the taxi lights and I can see the landing lights, but for some reason, the strobes and the beacon lights are not coming on. Now, when I change the time, you saw that flicker. You saw that uh, you know it, it kind of it came on and then it went off again. So anyway, that's a bug. I hope that it will be fixed soon. But um, other, other than that, I can't really um, report any issues with, uh, with XLife. By the way, if you're interested in, in making your own um, taxi routes, uh, you're going to have to use WED uh, to do that. All right? looks like there is another aircraft now uh, right over there. And here is another aircraft coming to land. As you can see, things are starting to get pretty busy here at uh, San Francisco. And this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I hope that this has been a useful and informative video. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.